And welcome back, everybody, to ERC Gaming TV. It's Legend Series, and it is Grand Final time. Welcome to the group final. Waz to Windingo, Dango, Windingo, Dango. Take another go. Windigo, going for this main stage spot. Who's going to win? Windingo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Windingo. Uh, no, I I think Windigo is going to be the favourite walking into this one, and also it's justified simply. But I would love to see Wast actually, thanks to their performance against Nexus, thanks to an easier matchup just before the finals right here, possibly uh, going in hyped up uh, with smiles on their faces, very happy, very fresh. That would be really good. And um, but in theory, it should be in the go. I, I before calling any score lines, though, I would love to find out what the map is going to be. That's always like a priority to me. And yeah, one of these teams. This is the final stretch. One of these teams will have three victories. Well, we've seen and one will have two losses. We've seen a lot of overpass already today. Obviously, when Windigo going to be looking to get them into um, into that territory. That'd be very comfortable territory. I don't want um, Waz to give up on that ban. I would oh, like that Nuke. to be their first ban. Um, I feel like Nuke is going to be pretty quickly banned out. Yeah, After I that sort like of performance, it. no real gaps in their defense <laughs> or attack. In fact, I'd love to see it too. 12 like, to regardless three. of what's happened in the previous Nuke, I'm just a fan of Nuke. So Maybe it would make it more competitive. Um, obviously... Waz probably wanting it to go to train. Sad that Overpass is actually towards the top of the map pool, so Wendigo could actually force that one out. I wouldn't want to see that. I don't want uh, Wendigo to be on comfortable territory. I want them to be out of their comfort zone slightly because when they're both playing on both of their best maps, it, I don't think it's going to work out for Team Waz. I want them to throw in a bit of spoiler potential, try and get it onto train, but knowing Wendigo, they, they, they don't... The... the, the the big bonus they have is they play all seven maps. At, at some, yeah, at some point or the other, they play all seven. So there's no laps in, there's no permaban right there. They can ban dependent train. on their opponents, and it is train. I don't like this for Windigo, but nevertheless, we're going to see it right in the middle of their map pool, right at the top of that map pool. Looking, I, I feel like this is the best case scenario for Wazd in terms of the veto. Good to hear that, man. Uh, uh, other than getting literally nuke, I feel like this was the best possible map they could have really drawn yeah, here so. against Windigo. Obviously, still favourites, the Bulgarians, but going into this pistol round, firm and ready. Cannot let the the Bulgarians onto Cobblestone, I feel. So, yeah, no possibility well. of that happening, but I also He's feel like... He's Cobblestone. He's ban out Overpass. But I feel like we're not seeing Cobble at all in the Legend series number four. I think we only saw it the once, didn't we? I think we have we've literally only if seen it once. If you mean yesterday, then it was yeah. actually not the not <laughs> legend series. It was the other tournament that we cast. Oh, was it? Was it not? Oh, yeah. I oh, damn. Okay. So it's we're not going to see it at all, other than possibly tomorrow. Maybe I feel like Team Spirit could probably play a couple stone, but nobody else really. It's a pretty unplayed map amongst these teams. Not done by design, of course. Going to be this B approach. The bomb already wrapping in and on. Spur here with the USP. Vista being completely smoked off, but he is actually going to go for this approach. The wraparound as well, missing shots, but it hits the follow up body shots. Ship's gone. This is Bomb wrapped in towards Ooh, his A site. One HP. Bubble going to eliminate Kaboric. Looked like he would survive for a second there. Dodds trying to take the shot on through, but gets dinked down by a ranged Glock. When to go? Oh, but they're playing so passive. I love this. Just holding back and steady. And looking for this pistol round. Oh, we could definitely use some X-ray again, as always. And Victor gonna headshot on Vista right after spare. Tinted and taking these kills back, back to two on two. Come on, who's gonna be the victor in this round? A lot of times already elapsed, and I don't think that there's time to defuse the bomb for spare. So that's gonna be it. Speller just needs to pee. And that's all that she wrote. He doesn't even need to get the kill. He doesn't need to survive or anything. He just needed to interrupt the bomb defuse. And he did it. That, that's all that matters in the end. Obviously, very shaky shots, but he finally capitalizes. Spellen, first round on the board for Winding. Take over. Winden, no. <laughs> it's getting late, fellas. It's getting fast. I, I, I'm surprised it took me this long to crumble. Yeah, actually. I, I, normally, I normally crumble at about 6 o'clock. <laughs> 
Uh, Bulgarian Blin says, yo, what's Dominic's brother's name? Name the pro football player. Yeah, he is. That's what he said. Yeah, he, somebody called you out in the chat. This question for you. Uh, what? Because I didn't. Have a look. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is the guy. He's the football player. That's exactly it. That. Take the tags on through. No recoil there, seemingly. Tintin. Tin. Another follow up headshot. Looks for this follow up and does actually nail bubble. Can't find another. Is Punisher last alive? Nice Deagle headshot from Vista. Holds it on through. Both on full HP. Scout in hand. Wants to go for the wraparound. Back onto the B site. Punisher. Gonna be able to get this bomb down. Smashing in the numbers with a minute left. Finally dropped. Has Vista. Going back around, UMP in hand, wants to back off. He's moving firmly in, but Punisher on this bomb train is probably going to hear these footsteps. Fizzler being very loud right now, straight out to the bomb site. No kit well, <coughs> needs to move very fast. And Punisher, he's wasting time absolutely perfectly. That smoke down might be the only chance oh. Punisher has to win this. Got, it does go for that spray down, two rounds. I was a little bit worried so that he thought that maybe he's edging around the smoke or something like that. That was not the case. Oh, and now I realize what you meant, what you asked, because it was hard to understand without any comas, but yeah, you're asking for his name. So it's Damian Dombrowski. I don't know if you're, you'll be able ever to type that down if you're not Polish. So good luck with that. But you probably found that in my bio. So there should be my <laughs> name and surname there. So you just copy the surname. It's Damian, his name. No investment here for Waz, only the upgraded pistols, no Kevlar, zero sets for them. This flash is pretty strong to cut off visual for Vista as they do wrap in. Dodds takes one headshot through, supported by that Deagle. And Spellen just sprays him down, the orb raining through as well. Bubble finally finding shots here on train. Mark Boric trying, struggling to just chime in for one more kill. Punisher down to 15. That was the perfect target that he could have gotten right there. And he almost even gets the one and spell it. But for now, 3-0. No big danger over to Indigo. They're able to take all the rounds this far, but some of them being pretty close. 1v1 in the pistol, 1v1 in the second round. Right now a little bit cleaner with four people staying alive and... That's the four by finally for the Estonians. Spare's going to be playing with the op. All the rest with m but Spare actually with the glass cannon op. That we have to mention. And also, they have very little grenades on Tintinin and Spare. So they're still missing quite a bit of money. Perfect buy for Windigo, though. They've got that all pack. They might be able to hold this one steady with the quad AKs. Obviously, everybody apart from the bomb of those. Wrap around this B site once again. Spare just holding heaven. Victor needs a smoke to support his push out onto this B bomb site. Spare throws down an aggressive smoke grenade. And he's here to hold the cross. There's the first for him. Nice flick up. Hits the headshot. Victor gone. And Spare is actually going to get counted out by ships. Big two versus three here. Waz actually do need to hold it through. It's Kaborik burning alive in these flames. Down to 20. And this, that, that might actually be the difference maker here. So ships is very low as well. Could level this back to a two versus two, but he's hiding in this <laughs> smoke. Looks very suspicious. Tintin almost had an idea. Pops an aid on through, but unable to find the frag. As Bubble and Ships find a pair. Them doing everything in this fourth. It's opening gun round. Let's watch that again. Spare, fast flick on. Big headshot. Couldn't nail the triple kill. Yeah, and that, that position from ships. Also, this round was finally quite cool from from Waz, but they were not able to close it out, unfortunately. How did you do that? <laughs> what? I saw you type in the Twitch chat, and I didn't even see you do it. You're sat right next to me. You are a magician. I am. Maybe I typed it with the power of my mind. Uh, here we go. Boring is able to get one with the goal, but right after, win the go. Roll over. WISD and... That's about it for this round. Only Dards all alone in 1v4. Can't imagine him carrying it all on his shoulders. All on his back. And 5-0. That's what we're seeing most likely here in favor of the Bulgarian team. Was beating Nexus 16-4. Doesn't mean that they will now get obliterated just like that by the favorite of this group.
He's worth 750 TYS euro. What That's does that mean? thousands. That's that. Is he actually? I, I That's a lot of money. I don't know exactly because I'm not interested in football, but might be. It's quite a lot of money. I'd like 750,000 euro. Well, he Leon's is. Leon's watching. You can pay me that if you want. He's on the bench of the national Polish team. Like for the, 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 the big one. Christ. Either way. Dodds going to find that. Initial headshot, double up sight for Waz. Obviously changing up their approach. We usually call this a change of pace. We usually see it from a team who might be slightly panicking as well. Here on train, it could work out. Tintin absolutely flashed up. Spare gone as well. Ships with a double triple. Straight onto this A site. Vista has to go huge here. The last player watching and roaming, waiting for the rotation. Dodds with the AWP. This bomb still isn't down. Window goes straight on this site. Punisher is just here to hold down the angle. Bubble with this C4. Still caught in Pop Dog. Obviously, with a minute left, can afford to go slowly, passively, patiently. Go still 5 0 up, remember. After an extremely fast start earlier against Venatores on train, this is a repeat performance here against Waz. 5 0 and then 5 0 now. Well, there we go, Vista and Dodd still trying to find these kills before the bomb gets planted, before it gets really hectic for them. Ships. Oh, he's going to block out Vista. Like, he felt that the guy would be coming from that side. Some spider senses tingling for him. And Windigo looking for the sixth round for himself. Oh, what, what, what was that? Can you really see people through that? Or was not kill through the wall? I actually have no idea what just happened. It didn't show that he killed him through the wall, and I never thought you can see people through that. I thought oh no, it was did like he splat an ankle? Do we have a replay? I'm not really sure. 6 to 0. Win to go. Even better than their performance earlier against Venatorius. Ended up as a 16 11. That was a 5 0 start, now a 6 0. Looking to make it 7 here. Mr. Made those flashes straight in with the PD 50. Holding behind this smoke. Molotov forces him forward. That nade blasts him back. Yeah, that nade definitely must have hurt. Overall, no big hopes for this round no, for Wires anyway. But these hopes are just getting obliterated by nades like these. You can see the worst. Darts gets a kill on Spell and squeezes that headshot through. But if every single deagle they had on their lineup could do that, and not just a single one, then it could probably put some life in them. Be that refreshing win here. But 7 0. You say you didn't like this map for Windigo. I guess, after all, it might have been a great choice. We actually. know how bad my predictions are. I pretty much got zero predictions right over the last week. I'm terrible. I don't really know too much about this game at all. I'm just, they found me off the street. They chucked me on the mic. They said, right, we'll give you 10 euros, Cassis. Uh, I don't even know, even know what I'm talking about. Wind to go 7 0 up right now. Double ups again for Wazd. So you were like sl slurping water out of a pond or something, and they, they were like talk walking up to you and I said, Hey, do you play Super Mario Bros? <laughs> and you're like, Yeah, alright, be a Counter Strike caster. <laughs> 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 I so hope somebody heard that joke. That was a fantastic joke from me. I got it. Come on, give me props. Pause. Well, but there we go. Maybe a one round for one. Apparently not. When Punisher is able to get a position like that, then that already, already tells me nothing's good really going to happen for Waz right here this round. Not just like spare. Two people coming at him from the puck fuck. He's not even able to get one for a long, long time. Then he finally gets one and instantly falls. Your boy, all that's left for the Estonian team. Come on. This is way too one side. This doesn't look like a match that was supposed to be even at all. Doesn't feel like the grand final that this was meant to be. Hate to zero, obviously. And Kaborik gonna just walk into this cross there. Punisher hasn't got any health, but he is gonna find that headshot. Easy next round for Windigo. And this is just a team play. Knowing that it's a best of one, knowing that their tournament life still is on the line. Remember, they haven't lost anything so far. Mm -hmm. Well, haven't lost any games, haven't lost any rounds. They never lost anything in their lives. Like, uh, even when they played, like. I don't know, on the, on the skipping line at school, they never <laughs> lost that. 
They are, yeah, now they are rocking and rolling. Knowing that their tournament life is on the line in a best of one after n not failing earlier, that does apply the pressure. We saw that happen with Repsol on the other day, come from the upper bracket, lose the best of one straight out of the tournament. Couple of nades down. When go put that to practice earlier against Venatores. Did a lot of damage there, not doing as much now. So maybe now, like I said last time, if every one of these Deagles gets a single kill, that's a chance. That's something. Pick that's up four a rifle. Kills. But we've seen one this far. Two is already an improvement, but that's no round by any means. Eight zeros, already a horrible scoreline. Normally, and I'm always saying that when, when we see a 7-0 scoreline, like, Seven zeros, the most that you can give up. Then you have to start winning, otherwise it's over. And here, past that point of seven zero, when to go in another round, so it seems like it might be over. But Dodds is able to get one, picks up the rifle. Oh, he's not going to be able to win the fight against Punisher, but take a look at that. Good boy, it did it. Everybody's getting the kills all over the place, and the Deagles, everyone got a kill each. Four kills combined. Right, actually, Christ. Mr. Obviously, the only player not to chip in just yet, and Bubble has finally planted that bomb. We were criticizing his orping earlier, but he's hidden the shots now. All yes. three finds Tintin as well. Nine on the board, and Waz. That's an absolute shutdown. The one round that they were supposed to win after finding four frags, putting, oh my lord, Bubble into a terrible position. He racks all the frags. We were criticizing him earlier, but there's nothing to criticize by that play. One versus three on the A site. Oh, man. Bubble's like, I left my iron on. Let's just finish it as quickly as possible, guys. Got to turn it off because it could burn my house. <laughs> Unbelievable. Waz haven't got onto the board just yet. The Bulgarian guy said, I think Domino is my favorite caster. And then he corrected it to Domino. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks. I also like Domino's. <laughs> they make up pizza. Sponsor us. Sounds a good sponsor, right? They could, they could. Windigo, obviously, just playing this one slow, knowing that they're probably against double up set again. Boric actually getting his face blasted off. Plucked from his shoulders by an aggressive victor. Tintin trying to chip back through, oh. supported by Dodds. Orphan M4 reigning in. There's another shot for Dodds. His spell and goes down as well. First round on the board for Waz, but it's far too late. Obviously, four players alive means that their economy isn't going to be under strain coming into this next 11th round, but Windigo, nine on the board. They've already applied enough pressure to Taff. They, they were finally able to get one, though. This is so good. Like, I, I mean, that's something. But sometimes you get crushed completely. You're not able to win a single round. You lose all hope. But lately it started to... <laughs> oh, ooh, that shot. Dangerous, isn't that, it? Yeah. Uh, but, but lately it started to feel a little bit more reassuring. Like, whilst they're getting closer rounds, like a lot of kills with the Deagles on that round number nine. So... Seemed like, yeah, they were starting to break through. One, two, break through. Nine, two, one. Break through. So Victor 74 inch big, and nobody was hit from Waz this far at all. Was 69 HLTV confirmed. I'm so satisfied, I no need. I want to break free. Break through. <laughs> Four versus five. Double up setup still rocking and rolling on Waz's side. Spare trying to chip in through, trying to get a little bit of information onto this A site. It's Boric. Holding steady here, looking left and right, but it's Dodds again to chip in. Spelling with a nice follow-up frag. Tintin's up close and personal as well. Needs to stop this bomb going down, but it's Spare instead. Finds the wall bang. Bubble returns, but he sees orbs from Waz. This Real is the time. difference maker. Vista finishing it off, but four frags for the orbs. Once again, Dodds and Spare chipping in. They're both on double digits. You see 10 kills for Dodds, 11 for Spare. Lots of frags for them, even though they've only got two rounds. Heaven of a difference. And even if Waz are to keep winning until the very end of the first half, it's still bad. Like 6 2 9 off the CT side of the train, still bad. Isn't that right? That's, it, it is right. Should be um, hitting 
more kills, more rounds. Maz still in terrible position. Need to be, um, yeah, bringing this back to six to nine. Obviously, then a follow-up pistol round as well to draw the score level. I can't quite see that happening just yet. Don't think Windigo are going to give away that advantage. Oh, not bad of a shot. Spurs going to get another one. And once again, we're seeing that nuke performance when he was shotgunning people to death with an AWP. But a three-on-three, three, nevertheless, Spellin's also able to reply. So, no big advantage taken just by that. But Dodds pushing through with a headshot on Bubble. Now, that guy is gone. A lot of danger is gone. Only Victor remaining, but talking about the danger, he's the most dangerous guy. And Dodds not able to continue it up with the AWP, but then through the wall. Picks him off finally after a little bit of a skirmish with Vista. Another four kills for that pair of orbs. The double orb setup working its magic on train. We were criticizing it earlier. Windigo were putting it into practice. Obviously, Bubbles Orb didn't really rain through. He's on 12 kills now, but on the West side, the, the, the change of pace definitely came when they got that double orb setup for the second time. Didn't work at first. Windigo were able to pick it apart, change up their tactics, move up close and personal, take those orbs down. But right now, these orbs are working wonders on this CT side. Oh, will this pause take as long as the last one did? Because that was like three minutes nearly. Right. On pause cancelled. Oh. I guess that answers that's our question. Short one. That's a pretty short one. That's what I like. Oh, no, Dodds. He's got out the MP9. He has misread the situation massively. Obviously, the AWP has been a huge part of their success, thinking that Windigo are on this two. eco. They, they, they had enough money to be able to go for the AWP to go for another rifle here. But instead, he's gone for this less favorable SMG. Getting slightly cheeky, perhaps, but Windigo might surprise him. They think that it's an eco here. Needless to say, it definitely isn't. They're very low on economy, utility, nades. And that orb. Oh, is it oh. going to make it work? Victor finds a headshot. Now lots of pressure on Vidster. On this B site, he's being wrapped around. There's somebody behind him. He's going to get sidelined by Punisher. This should be double digits for Windigo. That hurt me so much. Uh, a guy just peeks at you. And then the orb was not able to follow with the crosshair at all. And then he got so quickly neutralized with an AK, and it wasn't the easiest angle, definitely, for the terrorists either. And that bomb side beaker dismantled, man. He wasn't even able to use the MP9, wasn't even able to fire a shot, not like it would have changed a lot. That yeah, that probably could have killed off both of them, but that it was, was actually a clever smoke. smoke. Yeah. I think that smoke might have even saved Victor there. Obviously, not needed. They're probably going to be able to buy up regardless after this round win, pretty much sealing that economy strong. Dodds. Uh, Obviously, only saving back an MP9. Take a look at that. Maybe a double kill on these two Hello Hell players. Oh, oh he's not peeking. Oh, what a waste. Yeah. Like, what does he intend to do with that MP9 now? Just drop it over. Pick up the AWP. It's a double up setup again. They've been finding... They found four frags in all three rounds that they've actually put together between these two ups so far. So maybe Dodds and Spur can pull it through again, even without Gaborik with a rifle. Here we are, Punisher jumping in, passing a molly, but nobody's really rushing it down from the was lineup once again. The AK is just so strong against Dodds right here, through the walls and like the most awkward angles for the terrorists to shoot. They are able to overpower him somehow, but this time it's just 17 points of damage instead of 100. Last. Four versus five now. It's all up to the orbs. Lots of pressure as the team kill comes in from Windigo, three versus three. Tintin up close. Nice headshot. Backs off. Tintin's still alive, roaming. Windigo can't capitalize on this and count him out just yet. It is spell and closing in, but Punisher is the man to find the shot instead. Both these orbs raining out. I said it was all pressure on them. All eyes on these two orpers right now. Spellen is actually closing in on Dodds. Finds a shot. Bomb down. Punisher in a horrible p position. And there's the other orb. Pulling through once again, ha. too. They don't fail, ever. Ever since that moment was start being able to, 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 to win the rounds, these orpers are completely unkillable. Well, maybe sometimes Dodds can die, but Spare's been holding onto his AWP for so long now. 
he didn't even have to rebuy it quite a couple of times. A pair of orbs pulling through for two. Waz Esports. Oh. oh, getting shot in the face down. early. Spur, that's one of the orbs gone. We were saying this is such a, a, a pivotal buy for them. And Windigo might be able to not just take double digits, but take an 11th round as well. Take a pair of sticks as Bond goes down. Tintin can't make it two once again. Victor trading it out. Dodds back at this site. Bomb down. Means it. Waz with this rotate. Four versus two. Needs to find something. Dodds again. Or braining through. And it's again a pair of frags. Tintin and Dodds pulling it through. That nade! Oh, close. Not doing the damage. That could have been it. That could have been a 2v2 and such a, such a better position and situation for Windigo. Uh, excuse me for was, but for now, Windigo are in that position as Chips is wrapping around and coming in from behind darts could easily be killed off. No! These orpers do not die! And Punisher is still down to 6 HP, so keep that in mind. He's just such an easy kill, but he's also coming in from behind. He's also wrapping around through Connector, but will he not be too late? Can Bubble survive to actually... Probably Lee not. Punisher into this bomb site. No, will they not defuse the bomb in time? Now that's another question. The bomb plant is so weird, so oh, awkward for, for Punisher him. right now. They don't know where he is. He's gonna spray down. Not both of them. Still, He's Fist is this alive, but no time. No time. No time. It's over. Or is it actually? He's gonna make it. Yeah, he's got just enough time left to go for this defuse. Waz. Vista saving the day, five rounds on the board, not oh. nearly enough, but it is a bit of breathing room. They're going to need an exceptional T side, even to pull it through to overtime. To if take a win, they need 11. If Punisher just knew the guy wasn't in the smoke still, then it, he probably would have won the round. But just because he thought that the guy was still in the smoke, still more, maybe defusing, he had to stay revealed, and that lost them the round out here. Waz look fatigued and collapsing in that first half, but can they pull through in this second half? Dodds not buying anything. Going back to spawn to pick up some Kevlar. Obviously, maybe feeling a little under pressure right now. When to go, this pistol round is practically for this group stage. Punisher, how many can he hit? It's Vista actually to move it in himself in first. Doesn't actually trade out any frags, but Punisher taking a shot, backing off. Another shot, and he does nail this one. A trio of frags for Windigo. This is just Gaboric left, the fourth. Victor chipping in this time. Is everybody in Windigo's team actually pulling oh. through? And Spell and wraps in. Find the 11th round. Windigo, this should be them all the, all the way through here. City side on train, one of the easiest halves of the game. Windigo, I, I, I can't see them not making this 16. So you, you, when I came here, you were actually talking about like crushing a watermelon in your hands, something like that. So that's what Victor did. Uh, like oh, his, his I said I exploded. bet I could crush a watermelon. Was I? What, what, was that at the house? I think so. I, I think don't know was. like I what that was, but basically like, that's what crushing a watermelon <laughs> would look like. Victor got hit in the head with a Glock and five HP left, it so he was still down. alive, but like that just squished. That's what it looks like. That's what noise of water makes yeah. when it bursts. Maybe. Or, or a cat when it cracks. <laughs> <laughs> These rifles for Wendigo should be able to chip through as Victor finds another kill towards the other side of the map. These deagles doing damage. Three versus three. Back in with a shot here is Vista with a salvaged Famous is able to find Ooh. another one. That Bubbling kill. ships. Both blast back and find the killer piece. It's just Vista left. Going to need an ace. But this time it's going to keep Waz in this series. Going to need the bomb. And why do the CTs go like they like they know where it is? Vista's going to pick it up. But he doesn't care about the noise that he's making. Yeah, so much noise there. Because it's Windigo not normal that, that the CTs instantly both go exactly where the bomb right is. Yeah, Deagle. Kill but that was well. so weird. Why wouldn't they go? Both of them went exactly where the bomb I was. I don't know if did one of their teammates die up there and spot the bomb earlier. I'm I'm, I'm not sure if that happened. I'm not sure what the hell. Or happened. maybe just a little bit of a gamble because Perhaps. it's a regular spot where you leave the bomb, right? Yeah, no, it definitely isn't. It's not. It's not something that you'd be making the prediction uh, surrounding. But now, no predictions needed for this one. Waz should be 5 to 13 down. Going to go for a strippy rush, not through that smoke. Just holding steady and stable. 
It's Windigo. They've got two riflers on this site. And you know, when they're feeling confident, they actually back off. Feel confident that they're going to hit these headshots. Bubble pops one. And there's another one. Oh. Bursting the bubble. Three frags. Holy moly. That was beautiful. And Shapes just finishes it all out. <laughs> bubble. Who's talking about an AWPA in a team? Just just screw that up. Play with an M4 all day long. That yeah, let's amazing. be fair. He has shown us some, some really decent rifling today, as well as good sure. AWPing towards the latter half of today's proceedings. So there we are. 13-5. Just three more rounds to close out the map. And this... Should be the biggest hit right now. Was will not have a lot of money if they lose right here without planting the bomb. But Dodds is going to clean up that bush on bomb site B. Warwick also with a kill on bubble. So that looks kind of awkward for Windigo right now. Seems like they would be trying to push through to close it out here and now to just end the map. But that's where they get stopped actually. Chips last alive. Obviously just trying to save this M4. Wrapping round. Waz probably aren't going to go for the hunt here. As ships backs off. Kevlar kit, flash, smoke, and M4. Fully suited and booted. It's going to be 6 to 13. Yep. So, do we say that Waz is still alive? If, like, can you still believe that they will turn it all around and come back? The possibility is surely there, but it's just so little. Perhaps. Obviously, they need to wrap together a couple more rounds. They've got to manhandle the economy as well. That's how you beat the CT site, especially on train when you need in those smokes, you need in all that utility. It's very costly to be losing on the CT side, in fact. You're going to be going for a lot of double ecos. Right now, though, Windigo, they have a full buy. Are they going to be able to get this all out? I don't think they have enough money to put it on bubble. He's actually on a Deagle, so... Everybody on rifles apart from him with this hand cannon. I don't think that they really desperately need that off, but they definitely need something of bubble, and the deagle might not be enough, but we'll find out. Maybe he's going to be a guard with this too. Chips gets a headshot on spare though to open it up, and that might already be a possibility to something up for them. Punisher gets a kill on Gaboric, and they don't even lose a single point of health after two kills. That's got to tell you something. No Dodds with the AWP, if he peeks out, and doesn't see ships, that's as good as a death sentence to him. And well, that slows down a tiny bit bubble. With the D, peeks out, spots out the guy. It's a lot of good info. Vista also goes down to Victor. Once again, no damage done to the CT. That's going to be another perfect kill. 500 HP after a round <laughs> against the 4 by. What? They're just destined for the main stage. They are certainly not out of their depth here against Waz. This has been such a flawless game of train. They've not taken any chances, any risks, and it's looked pretty convincing all the way through. Waz only on six rounds, obviously, earlier on today. Having a couple of troubles while letting Ven Venatores get onto double digits. The next game being... a. Uh, 16-9 against Waz, so maybe, maybe they haven't actually had that, that much trouble. Maybe this has been a little more um, convincing than we first thought. So right now, very little out there for the terrorist team, and this could lead to the very ending of Group C, which we thought that would be extremely close, and it was for the most part the start of the day but then later on was crushed Nexus and now Windigo are crushing was in return that's gonna be a good kill for Gaboric actually make near a five on three for a brief moment and later on he dies bubble spraying it down the AK being able to get a triple kill just very recently alongside B this time just one and then he succumbs to the surrounding him terrorists oh my lord are they actually about to do this they do shit what was that? Blast through three kills. And that's match point. Oh, well, but not like this was like extremely outstanding. After all, it was who didn't really have the rifles and everybody out there. Unbelievable. Still group point for them. One out of nine to be able to make this to the main stage. Last 
Going to be pushing through the Molotovs. They feel oh. a bit said and done. Oh, oh, spare. 100 damage done by the nades there. The rifles. This huge <laughs> buy not even needed. His bubble hits a follow-up flick. 15-6. This could be it as, oh, Waz already leaving the server. They're yeah. done. They're sick of this. But, I mean, you've got to get mad. He would just wanted to jump over one molly, but there was another molly behind him. And he's like, it was a dead moment. Wow. They are tilted. Player already leaving in a four versus five Tracks as well. New. They're obviously not feeling good about this one. Tin, tin. Last alive. Nothing he can do. Deagle in hand. Does find a frag, pad his stats a little, but Windigo 16-6. A flawless group stage from them as they take this 3-0 straight through to the main stage. Great performance Something we might have expected, but, Perhaps, but yeah. two first matches that they played here weren't so easy. And the third one, certainly they just not. go off. Yeah, certainly not. And obviously, they're going to be playing against the likes of AGO, King Gwyn, that sort of bunch there. How do you feel that, like they're going to fare against that higher tier opposition? In the main stage? Yeah. I'm not sure. I, after all, this has not convinced me. Like their okay. earlier score lines yeah. against Venatores and against... Um, so a 16-11, a 16-9, and then a 16-4. They're still letting these uh, lower tier opposition get get rounds as you're saying you'd be expecting them to kind of crush them out kind of just 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 take it on through extremely convincingly yeah but then i also know how inconsistent the polish teams can be the ones that you were mentioning like yeah ago yeah. pride king win yes they yes, can be so very amazing. inconsistent so we'll just have to find out and see if they hit perfectly into a bad day of one of these teams and they could throw them down and gather up a spot in the final stage of the legend series four as this is much more complex of a legend series than we ever had yeah, well, that's um, Group A, B, and C done. Yeah. Squared, obviously, being our main stage invite from Group A. Surprise. Today. Um, we're going to go, obviously, pulling it through. And in Group B, of Valence. course, Valiance, our other um, Serbian Serbian team, yeah. opposition, making it through to that main stage. Of course, um, taking it fairly convincingly. Um, Squared probably being the tightest of those, obviously having to, to battle through very tough opposition for them. Going to be making it through to that main stage. People love them in the chat as well. They, they, they were, I, I messaged them after, extremely ecstatic about that. So we found three out of our four main stage participants. We have to find a fourth tomorrow. Obviously. We have to find out, and that, that's going to be very tight. Might be, once again, just as tight as today. Just hopefully the final is going to be a bit closer. Maybe the yeah, earlier on matches could be like more one-sided, but I definitely want to have a huge final with like 16-14 of a scoreline. Yeah, it's obviously a bit of an anticlimax when you get into this situation, when you've had such good games this morning, and we finish half an hour before schedule in the end, after being so far behind. We were supposed to start this match even 20 minutes after, but then Waz made it much quicker. <laughs> and now <laughs> Windigo made it even more. I'm going to go home early. I'm going to go to bed early, just because of Windigo's strong performance there on train. Yeah, make sure that you are, um, before you leave, spotting us back uh, tomorrow. We're going to be back at 5 o'clock CET. Leave Are you follow. excited um, for those for, for those Group D games as well? Is there anybody that you're really watching out for? I want Singularity to impress me because I yes. know like the yeah. org is quite big and like they're looking forward to have a lot of achievements, but I've not been impressed by them yet. Yeah. And in different like yeah. um, departments, Overwatch, uh, they also, I think, okay. had a team in League of Legends and now Counter-Strike and stuff. So I'm looking forward to them impressing me a little bit more. But Spirit, Spirit Academy did very well. So I want yeah. to see Spirit also doing the same or even better, of course, than their academy. Yeah, maybe the main team making it through to main and, um, and pulling it through. So a sweet $250 for um, today's main stage participants. We've given out 750 euros so far. So nice lot of money handed out, thrown away. We're just throwing it away. We're just showering them in the cash. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, tomorrow, our final stage. Who do you think, out of the, the, the three that we've already seen, has a spot of making it maybe to the final stage? Do you feel like we've got any high-tier opposition who can really take it home? Like you're saying, teams? maybe Windigo, but I'm not so convinced by them. Squared, 
well, I don't want to like already say that they've got no chance, but they're definitely like going to be a huge underdog out there, and they will just have to play their hearts out there in the main stage in order to be able to achieve something. But Valiance is quite a safe call. Like these guys are impressing, and they are trying to just look for more and more success out there. And yeah, we need a strong team from that region, definitely. Yeah, I'd certainly like to see. Um I'd certainly like to see maybe what Valiance can do. I feel like they're probably the, the greatest team. I feel like we see the, the, the highest tier opposition probably in that Group D. Obviously, Spirit and Singularity, the two S's. Hopefully, one of them will show up and give us a really strong contender for that main stage, for the final stage, where obviously LDLC, Vega Squadron, our two high seed invites. Um, either way, we will be back tomorrow, 5 CET. Lots of highlights today. Make sure you stay tuned for them. Obviously, uh, we'll be showing you a couple of uh, little clips before we leave. So make sure you see us back here, 5 CET tomorrow for our final Group of Legends series.
Never gonna let you go.